Hi, I'm Braxton. And we are so excited and grateful that you are here watching our video um, to learn a little bit more about who we are and what our life is like. So we have an incredible How We Met story. So we both serve missions for our church down in Southern Texas. And we grew up really close to each other, just never knew that. So we grew up in the same city in Utah and never met until we had to go down to Texas. And then we came home and, and you know, started hanging out and dating and now we've been married for over four years and it's been the best four years of our lives. What I love about Mackenzie, obviously you can tell by how beautiful she is. Other than that, she's very selfless, she's an incredible mom, very outgoing, very happy all the time, optimistic, uh, funny to be around, very it's a good sense of humor. So, I don't know, I just love her because I can be myself around her as well and she, she loves me for who I am. Oh, well, <laughs> if Braxton thinks I'm that great, he is 10,000 times better. Seriously, I hit the jackpot with him. Um, there's just so many qualities about him that I love and that make me want to be a better person, a better mom. He's super calm, which is nice. I can be a little crazy and energetic sometimes. <laughs> and he just kind of mellows me out. Best dad in the world, hands down. Maybe I'm a little biased. But he really is the most amazing dad, and I couldn't have imagined anyone better for our children. I love to read. We have a dog named Neville Longbottom, so <laughs> Harry Potter is definitely my favorite. I like little DIY projects. Nothing crazy, because I'm not super creative, but little things um, to liven up the house and give us some character I like to do. I personally love anything to do with sports. As a family, though, we just love Anything we can do together, like even sitting and watching a movie, or going out to a movie, or to get a tree, like some ice cream, or snow cones, or little things like that where we can be together. Also like a lot of fun games. We play this board game that's called Marbles, just a family tradition game that we love playing. We love to go on vacation. Yeah, vacations. Our in-laws have a beach house in Newport Beach, so we love to go there with them. and take the quick little drive up to Disneyland, so that's one of our favorites. We have always known that we we're going to adopt one day. And I think a big part of that is because I was adopted. My parents um, had a daughter, wanted to adopt again so she could have a little sister. They decided to go international, they decided to go to El Salvador, and found out that my twin and I decided to take us both. And I can't imagine what my life would be like um, without adoption. I wouldn't be here right now doing this video. We wouldn't be hoping to adopt um, ourselves. It's just been a huge blessing in my life and my twin brother's life as well. So because of that, I think we've always, I've always known that that's something that I wanted to do, but we just didn't think our adoption journey would start the way it has. Yeah, so we, we do have one, well, we have a little boy named Trevor. He just turned two a few months ago. He has Down syndrome. Um, sorry. Um, love that kid to death. But obviously it's not something you expect, especially your first kid, to have special needs. But when he was born, we just didn't care. We just loved him for how he was and was grateful he was here and healthy and keeps us happy. And he really has changed our lives and our extended family's lives so much that we're so grateful to have him. This past year, we had a little baby girl as well. Her name was Maylee, Maylee Grace Anderson. Had a lot of birth defects that were fatal, and the doctors told us that she would either pass away um, soon after birth, or it would be a stillbirth that she wouldn't make it. She was born, and then an hour later she passed away. And just not knowing what could happen in the future with our, our children, or genetics, or anything like that, we just feel like now is the best time to look into adoption and hopefully find another special child to join our family. I just think it's neat that uh, our first kid, like I said, has special needs. Our second child, she is an angel baby, and our third child will be an adopted baby. I think it's a very unique um, way to build a family, so we're excited. You know, ever since things with Maylee have happened, um, it was really easy to be sad and upset. But knowing that we were going to adopt has given us hope. So we're so excited to start this journey and, like Braxton said, have our rainbow baby. Um, I love that term for a baby that comes after you've experienced some type of loss because 
you know that it's really hard, um, but you know you can't have a rainbow without the storms. Once again, we grew up in um, a pretty similar area here in Utah, and, and we love all the things we, we have nearby. There's so much to do outdoors. Um, we can go on really hard hikes, or really easy little nature walks. There's a ton of options for us to choose from. Our little community that we have here is amazing. There's always something going on. One of our favorite things is the 4th of July um, festivities that we have. Braxton gets to experience it with me and Trevor, and it's so fun to just go to the parade and be with all your family and friends. We have a lot of family members that live, live close by as well. A lot of extended family, like grandparents, cousins, aunts and uncles. And, and they are very excited for this journey with us as well. It's not just us adopting. I feel like it's really the whole family. As far as our like adoption preferences go, we are just happy to be on this journey, to be starting this process. And we are happy to have an open adoption, semi-open, closed, really whatever, open to any ethnicity, race. Um, I'm Hispanic, Latina, grew up in a all white community pretty much. Um, Trevor is mixed. So, you know, we're totally open to whatever and we love um, being a little bit different. You know, Trevor has shown us that different is beautiful. So yeah, we're just ready for anything. So this is our son, Trevor. He, <laughs> say hi. Hello. He teaches us so much and makes us better people and better parents for sure. He's always just happy, like happiest kid around, like never really mad or frustrated or anything. He just makes everyone smile that's around him. We love him to death, like Kenzie said. I mean, he keeps us happy and keeps us going. And we're just happy he's here with us. We're excited for him to have a little sibling. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, say hi. Say hello. Can you say you're excited for your baby? I'm excited for my baby. <laughs> Thank you so much once again for taking the time to watch this video and to look at our profile. Um, we want you to know that we have so much respect for you, um, expecting parents for even considering placing a child for adoption. We wish nothing but the best for you in your journey as well. So thank you so much. Trevor, can you say thank you? Thank, thank you. Thank you. And bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Good job.